All right, guys, what's up, man? It's Patrick, or Aiden's daddy. Um, this is my Jeremy Robertson El Patron, 3.25 inch, 3V steel. It's a signature, it's how he ships it. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I've been getting a lot of customs late, and everything's kind of the first time for me to get all sorts of stuff like this. I still love my Surge, um, small Surge. That is the Ripple 2, new generation. It's really cool. I've been showing it on Instagram. A little shout out to the Knife Thursday guys um, via practically every day or shutters and triggers. So let's get to the, uh, the opening of this tube. That's pretty cool. I've never seen anything delivered like this really. So further ado, let's, excuse me while I whip this out. I see it's kind of um, stuck in pretty tight. One day I'll get a tripod. Sorry about that. Here we go. Kind of cool. The blade sticks out a little bit. Here's Jeremy's um, new thumb hole. His pocket clip. Very sturdy. The hardware looks really cool. I love the polished pivot like that. It's always sweet. Wow. Very smooth opening. Feels very good in my hand. Here's his frame lock. It's cut very well. I think he's doing all CNC work on these handles now. Like I said, 3V blade, satin finish I went for instead of his dark uh, stone wash. Kind of like the Surge here, uh, Brad does it. It's really cool. It's holding up well. Very good edge on this S35VN. But I just kind of wanted to change it up a little bit. You know, the whole satin look. Feels very nice in my hand. size here small surge and 3.25 inch El Patron with the uh, I got the reverse Tonto could have had the Warren Cliff also or the regular clip point but I just thought this was kind of cool more of a slicer very very thin edge wow He does a zero grind from what I know. Sorry for the bad camera work. Eventually I will take this more serious and do better reviews. That is an early, early lockup. You can see it well. Wow, very nice. Looks great. It feels really good in hand, like I said. Um, these I went with the Foster Bronze uh, washers. And then here there's the thrust bearings or GTC thrust bearings, I believe they're called. And these have the uh, Ripples have the IKBS. Looks like with this generation they put the um, some sort of washers over them. Makes it probably even smoother and holds them in better, I guess. It just flies right out, obviously. 
So yeah, awesome, Jeremy. Thanks a lot, man. Um, you know, it can be a pain at times making custom orders for people, and but it turned out really well. I really like it a lot. Very nice standoffs. I love the uh, thumb hole. I really do. Sometimes the thumb studs, like in the Sabenzas, are beautiful, but I mean, they get really pointy after a while. And it's hard to, you know, open both hands. Very nice. A little stiff, but very smooth, though. You can tell those tolerances are very tight. Um, it'll just loosen up and smooth out better. So, sorry for the shakiness. Just ran inside from the mailbox because it's pretty cold out. Very nice um, groove there. Comfortable. And if you're on the fence about Jeremy's work or you're wondering, I would go for it. This is my first time. I've heard a lot of stuff about it. I think it's very nice. So check it out, okay guys? Take it easy. I'll do a review later on. I'll start reviewing some of my stuff. I know I'm getting more customs and all that and people want to hear people talk, I assume, instead of the silence, unboxing videos. My light is still not great, but um, throw in any advice or things you want to see or want me to talk about. I actually do talk a lot in real life, sometimes too much, so um, let me know. I can start getting more serious if you like it. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a good day. Bye.